Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by Baumeister. Oh, today I got someone I've been wanting to get on this show for a while. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve March Torme. So, Steve, you're performing, you're making a living doing this. What are you doing now? Well, I've got some cool stuff coming up. There's a, uh, there's a club in L.A. It's the nicest nightclub in Los Angeles called Vibrato. Okay. It's called Vibrato Grill and Jazz. It's Herb Alpert's place. Okay. And he sunk about $12 million into it, and I think he loses money every year, and he doesn't care because he has, you know, Marsalis comes in, and all the, I mean, really one of um, Esperanza Spalding, all the really, really great jazz artists come in there. And this will be my third time there. I'm going to be there at the end of this month. And I am doing a show called Torme Sings, Torme, and More. Because they, okay. they said, could you do a, a tribute to your dad? This is the 20th anniversary of my dad's passing. He's been gone 20 years. I said, yeah, we can do that. I'm going to do some, uh, some of his stuff, some of my stuff, uh, a couple of things people aren't expecting. Now, do, you, do you know Hillary Reynolds? Uh, she's a local girl. In, okay. Well, she left from Appleton and moved to L.A. She's oh, a, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Really good singer. Yeah. She, I'm going to bring her up on stage. She's going to do a number with me. So I'm doing that. I'm also... Um, going to do two Christmas shows here this year. Do you know anything about Christmas shows? Here? I, don't, I know yeah. a few things. I, I, I read up on you in Wikipedia. One third of my money is yeah. made. So we're going to do uh, two Christmas shows at the Grand okay. Opera House in Oshkosh. Michael Bailey and myself and, and strings, symphonic, uh, uh, singers. It's going to be a whole production, but mostly, you know, Christmas stuff. And Michael and I have not had a chance to do that yet. So we're going to do that. We're also going to do a uh, tribute, con not a tribute, con a benefit for the Avenue. Okay. I'm going to go back to the Meyer and do a project called Steam that Michael and I put together. It's kind of our little side project rock band where we get to do the stuff that we don't normally do in my jazz shows yeah. and that what Vic Ferrari doesn't do either. And yeah. so we're going to do that concert probably in September. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And also, you got a, you got a radio program. Folks, if you want to hear this guy, he's got a radio... <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. You're like, you got your hands in a lot of stuff. Let's talk about the radio show a little bit. Uh, well, I'm on 91.1 The Avenue, uh, too many hours a day. Yes. I wouldn't listen that long. I'm on from 6 to 9 in the morning and 3 to 7 in the afternoon. And I host events for them too. And when yeah. you know when we do concerts, I often you know. Do you play your records? Stage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not not as much as we should. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't push it yeah, either. Yeah. I know I would, that that would really be bad for me. Like, We're not playing enough of me. <laughs> uh, what, who's Van Morrison? I've never heard of this guy. this guy. Now I see a lot of your posts. You are pretty intelligent about sports. I mean, you're. Your Which comments... is not saying much. That's kind of no, an oxymoron, no. isn't it? <laughs> your comments about the Packers, Bucks, Brewers. I tell you what, you yourself. An athlete. Uh, well, I've been lucky. I, I got I, I got a chance to play on two national teams. Uh, a lot of people don't know what they are. The Maccabee Games are the Olympic Games for Jewish athletes uh -huh. in Tel Aviv, and it's staggered, so it's not the same year as the Olympics. So if the Olympics are like in '84 and '88, yeah. the Maccabee Games would be in like '85 and '89, so okay. it's not the same years. Okay. And I know that's that's the, that's the open joke. You want Jewish athletes? <laughs> if the book is this big. <laughs> well, the truth is. Mark Spitz, yes. uh, Dolph Shays, Danny Shays, a lot of very good athletes yeah. have played in it. Anyway, I got a chance to play on two national teams, and we won in fast pitch softball. Uh, you have a gold medal? I got two of them. Well, I got two of them, yeah. Oh, gosh, huh? Now, not just a nice sports coat, but two gold medals. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. Thank we you. could do about five of these. Oh, Probably easily. Probably more. Easily, easily. Hey, join us next week as we bring you another creative person from northeastern Wisconsin. <laughs> And the two-parter could have been a six-parter. I know. A lot of talent in one room there, Frank. He has yes. done everything. Been everywhere. I love that guy. We could talk talk for hours. Hey, let's get my big picks of the week. My son's band, Floral Friday. Love this kid. There's Blake uh, at Fathead Saturday night. Got to give him a plug. They are fantastic. Number three, Separate Ways. My buddies, uh, the best tribute band in the nation. Going to be at Enduzzi's on Friday night out of Gaby County Fair this weekend. Hey, I'm doing a talent search on Saturday uh, for kids. So we got 10 contestants so far. Come on out Saturday and see the talent contest. Number one, you got to come see this show. Scooby Dude and the Hodeg. Yes, the Hodeg is real. The monster's real. We have a <laughs> costume we had made in China for this show. <laughs> FranklyGreenBay.com. Thanks, Frank. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>